The hard partying cast of MTV's Jersey Shore popularized the narcissistic dream life of Jim Tan Laundry. GTL all day, baby, what's up? While they may be off the airwaves, most of them have managed to secure a bit more than their 15 minutes of fame. From spin-off shows to federal court, this wild bunch continues to scandalize long after leaving Seaside Heights. Here's where the cast of Jersey Shore is today. Mike the Situation Sorrentino Mike the Situation Sorrentino wasted no time cashing in on his signature brand. According to Gazette Review, Sorrentino landed endorsement deals with Devotion Vodka and GNC, as well as launching his own workout DVD, recording a rap song and partnering with clothing line Dilligaff, which stands for Does It Look Like I Give a F***. There was also his full-on family reality show, The Sorrentinos, with his mother, sister, and two brothers, who have since parlayed their own fame into a Manhattan real estate business. This yeah. is good stuff. Try this pasta. Mike also brought brother Mark in on some tanning salons, as well as the management of his various enterprises. Sounds great, right? Except Mike and Mark were indicted in 2014 for tax fraud. Looks like for the situation, the L in GTL now stands for Lawyer Up. Nicole Snooky Polizzi Snooky's come a long way from hooking up with everyone in the shore house and drunkenly urinating on the dance floor. The fact that I peed myself at the club, something funky's going on, like I can't control my bladder. Since the show ended, however, she slayed the TV game. She's appeared on Dancing with the Stars, The New Celebrity Apprentice, and Snooky and Wow, the only successful Jersey Shore spin-off. She also married Gioni Laval, her boyfriend from the show, had two kids, and even wrote a New York Times bestseller. You were asking me what I am. I'm tan. The pint-sized reality starlet has once again teamed up with BFF and Jersey Shore co-alum Jenny J. Wow Farley for the web series Moms with Attitude, which, according to Complex, gives viewers a peek into their new lives as moms. Why you both give me dirty looks? Snooki also banked $32,000 from Rutgers University for a 2011 speech in which she encouraged students to study hard but party harder. USA Today points out that Snooki was paid $2,000 more than Toni Morrison, an actual Nobel Prize winner who gave the commencement address that year. Jenny J. Wow Farley. We're working at a pizzeria in Florence. Oh, I broke it. But my kids ask me, oh, where'd you make pizza? Bitch, I made it in Florence. That's where I made pizza. JWoww has another show, too. This one with her husband and former Jersey Shore flame, Roger Matthews. Jenny and Roger Domesticated follows the tanned, tatted-up duo and their two kids, Milani and Grayson. Every morning I think the same thing. If the kids weren't here, would I get laid? No. JWoww also recently spoke to Entertainment Tonight about the constant bullying she's faced on the internet, as well as plastic surgery rumors that have plagued her since her MTV days. This is how bad it can get. Like, at the VMAs, you look, you're a drug addict and your kids should be taken away from you. And as far as the plastic surgery rumors go, she claims she's had no work done to her face. But she's open to non-invasive surgeries and things like that to stay youthful. Paul DJ Pauly D Del Vecchio. I'm just rubbing the gel around the perimeter. It's a little white, so you're just rubbing the white. But don't you don't have to be too worried about the white, because it's gonna come out again after. Toward the end of the show's run, Pauly D signed a record deal with rapper 50 Cent's G Note record label, creating his own line of headphones, launching a clothing line and tanning lotion brand, and was the first cast member to land a one-season spin-off, the Pauly D Project. According to Forbes, he ended up making over $11 million in 2012, the year Jersey Shore ended. In 2016, Polly D found himself on reality TV again on the show Famously Single, where he met his future girlfriend, Aubrey O'Day, a reality star and former singer in the girl group Danity Kane. As of the making of this video, the two are now reportedly shooting their own reality show, and according to TMZ, the couple will be engaged by season's end. Vincent Guadagnino Basically, you want what you can't have, and I want lesbians. <laughs> What better challenge than a girl that doesn't like penis? Known as the nice guy of the group, as well as an admitted mama's boy, it was no surprise that when it was Guadagnino's turn for a spin-off in 2013, 
he chose to do it from his parents' Staten Island home. This isn't New York City, this is not LA, this is Staten Island, and this is my crazy house with my crazy family. Vinny! Vinny! The show with Vinny ultimately flopped, dubbed by Variety as a weak sentence to hang in Staten Island, with no TV and all the cool clubs closed. But Guadagnino's not done yet, having launched his next family-centric show, Vinny and Ma Eat America. In it, the former fist pumper travels across the U.S. with his naive, Italian-born mother, Paola, and they sample cuisine like insect-filled tacos and Rocky Mountain oysters. He told Fox News, Everything is a surprise for my mom. She's never been off of Staten Island. She's pretty much just immigrated here when she was 10 years old from Sicily, and she never left. Sammy, sweetheart, Giancola. You want to walk out of my room, call me a can't say it to my face. Hell yeah, I would call me now. After the show, Sammy Sweetheart Giancola launched a range of products and did a bunch of talk show and reality TV appearances. She now co-hosts a podcast called Just Sayin' with Claire Galterio that features the type of honest and hilarious talk you're only used to getting from your closest friends. But the big question is, whatever happened with her and Ronnie? Giancola finally addressed the issue on her podcast in December of 2016, saying, Everybody knows my relationship with Ron, so we broke up, obviously in May, because things were not working out and I left. And I will always love Ron, but it's just better off that we're not together. I left and I'm happier now. I'm doing really well and dating, having a good time. You don't yank my newly weave that I just got. I was always taught to like self-defend myself. I will take down the world if I feel like somebody touched me the wrong way. Ronnie Ortiz Magro after Jersey Shore, Ronnie Ortiz Magro returned to what he was doing before the show began. He told 2Fab, uh, Yeah, I do real estate. I have a real estate company back home in New York. Oh, nice! Yeah, I flip houses and uh, investment banking and stuff like that. But he returned to reality TV for the second season of Famously Single. While filming, Ortiz Magro fell for castmate and Khloe Kardashian BFF Malika Hawk. But Ortiz Magro has since told E! News that he and Hawk are no longer together, and rumors that he's still secretly pining for Giancola are already buzzing. Dina Nicole Cortese Are you freaking kidding me? Who freaking eats a piece of cake? When you know it's an I'm sorry cake. Dina Nicole Cortese, who joined the show after Angelina Pavarnik's season 2 exit, maintained a relationship with her boyfriend, Christopher Buckner, throughout the whole show. Soon after the end of Jersey Shore, the two appeared together on Couples Therapy and recently got engaged. Outside of a few appearances on Snooki and JWoww, Cortese has ditched the small screen. She's pretty active on Instagram and even advertises a management company to contact for bookings in her Twitter profile. Angelina Pivarnik. That's right, bitches. Angelina's back. Angelina, this is why nobody likes you. The self-described Kim Kardashian of Staten Island, Angelina Pavarnik went on to a brief stint as a TNA wrestler, and a single appearance on the ABC FBI drama Quantico. But it turns out Pavarnik's true passion was helping people. In July of 2016, she graduated from the New York Fire Department's EMT school. She posted on her Instagram, "...all smiles today while I graduated and became part of one of the biggest families in the world, the FDNY." The last three months were hard, but I did it. Later in September of that year, she got engaged to boyfriend Louis Jero and returned to catfighting with Snooki about lip injections, telling In Touch Weekly, It's funny how she goes and gets her lips done at the same exact place that I got mine done. Yeah, so now all the times on Jersey Shore she used to call me ugly, now she's trying to look like me. Keep it classy, Jersey Shore. I'm gonna be honest with I you. Don't care. I don't care. Mike, the situation's penis is like so small. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!